Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 30th of January, 2019. Got a Fed announcement at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and the conference 30 minutes later tomorrow on Wednesday. So the market will probably be sitting more than likely until we get to that announcement. Um, obviously not much expected, but a lot of times is uh, the language that the Fed uses afterwards that takes a little time to absorb that matters the most to the market. And this could be interesting given their decline we've seen in the markets over the last few months. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. I suspect the market might wait for it. Uh, here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. Didn't do much today at all. Let's go through the major daily charts. We'll talk about the rest of the action. Uh, 53.23 on crude oil, down a few cents. Gold up $3.40 again, starting to break out. The S&P cash index loses all of three points. So again, it was a net nothing day there for the S&P. The NASDAQ was down a little more, 64.30 on the backs of Amazon dropping quite a bit. The Sox down 18.15. The biotechs were actually up seven points, which is pretty much a blip there. The Russell 2000 loses two. The VIX gains 26 cents. The trend closes at 0.83. That puts the 10 day at 1.05. So there's no signal there. We got about 2 billion shares. Actually, it was two, yeah, about 2 billion shares on the NASDAQ for the session. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, negative 342, uh, 323. More stocks down than up, plus 338 on the New York. More start, stocks up than down. Basically, a net wash if you take the two and add them together, right? Um, Google loses $9.80. Apple loses a buck sixty-two. Netflix loses six seventy-six. Amazon, we made some money on today, lost $44, essentially. Tesla was actually up a buck oh eight. Facebook down 328. Goldman Sachs gains 78 cents. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, up 61 cents. And that's about it. All right. In terms of the intra day action, five minute charts, you can see there's Monday and Tuesday combined, right? We gap down Monday, pretty much just choppy back and forth and flat to where we opened. And then Tuesday, the uh, tiny gap up that filled. And then again, we spent most of the day. I mean, look at this. Literally, we literally closed. Uh, Tuesday, where we opened Monday on the S&P. That's why, although we got some good stuff done, better stuff, I think, on Tuesday, a few more stocks that trigger and worked uh, than we did on Monday, but you know, the markets were not the reason. It was because we found a couple of things. Uh, in terms of uh, economic data on Wednesday, ADP non-farm employment change at 8.15 a.m. Eastern time. Pending home sales at 10, crude oil inventories at 10.30, at the Fed announcement at 2, and the press conference at 2.30. Remember, as usual, we look for a three-wave phenomenon after the announcement. We'll keep track of that in the room. And then keep in mind that Thursday is end of month for January. Also, um, we've got the Super Bowl this weekend, so people do start to travel, although it's in Atlanta, but there's a big chunk of the country that's going to have a hard time moving for a couple days, I think, with this uh, horrible storm that's about to hit. So anybody in the Midwest and anywhere else, please be safe. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Wednesday.